Hi, I would like to tell you why I advocate the Zeitgeist Movement. There are so many reasons I found it difficult to narrow the list. But let me start by comparing with what we have now with what we could have. I don't believe the way we currently run the affairs on this planet is the best way, the best we can do. The fact that the vast majority of humans never reach their full potential due to the circumstances they are born into highlights one of the most basic flaws of our current system. At least three quarters of the world's population struggles just to survive. We are supposed to be the most intelligent species to ever roam this planet, yet most people never develop their mental abilities past basic survival, and even people fortunate to be born in more affluent regions on Earth end up learning only enough to do boring, mundane jobs. How many more Einsteins, Edisons, Da Vinci's, etc. would we have if everyone had the chance to reach their full potential? These shouldn't be the exceptions. These should be the norm. And how do we currently educate the next de generation? With parents with, who have no formal education on how children learn, and often little or no critical thinking skills of their own, children start off their most important six years of life in stifled learning situations. We pass on superstitions and other misinformation based on opinion or just because it's always been that way, without questioning if the information is based on evidence. We have thus created a society where closed-mindedness is the norm. Then, we educate only to the point where they can function in a working capacity. We, cha we charge extortionate amounts of money to educate beyond that level. Only those lucky enough to be born into a family with means or those who are willing to become severely in debt can afford to enter the realms of higher learning. The money we spend on the military would more than pay for free education alone. And the more educated the population, the better for the whole society. So we spend our energies in the wrong place. Instead of figuring out ways to kill each other, we should become problem solvers becoming the best we can be. In a resource-based economy, this would be the goal. Next, let's look at how we treat our planet and the life on it. Our current system encourages the waste of our resources through cyclical consumption, deliberate sabotage to make a resource scarce so as to ensure a high price, and overconsumption through cleverly marketing a false value system. I can clearly see how the monetary system is contrary to taking care of our earth. The more we waste, deplete or ruin our natural resources, the more profit some corporation or small group of people can make. It also encourages us to believe we are not part of nature, but that it is there for us to exploit without any regard to the consequences. With our current paradigm, no one speaks for the earth or those who do are not usually in a power position of power. Many children in Western societies don't recognize basic fruits and vegetables anymore, and like their parents, they have no clue where their food actually comes from. People choose poor nutrition over healthy due to the marketing machine and believe that happiness comes from the next major purchase. Our bodies have an unbelievable amount of toxins now, and babies are born with these toxins already in their systems. I read recently a statistic that breast, mi breast milk contains 108 toxic chemicals, and this is worldwide. We have an epidemic of diseases, stress and environment related. Our topsoils are so depleted that Western corporate farms would be dust bowls if we didn't continue using chemical means to grow the food which is now poisoning us and the atmosphere. The earth has only 3% fresh water on it, the most basic need for survival, yet our aquifers are drying up as we desertify the planet at an alarming rate with no one except the private water companies and certain scientists seeming to know this. We are tearing down the rainforests, the lungs of our planet, to produce hamburgers without any thought that perhaps we need the air more than a 99 cent McMeal. 
In a resource-based economy, the big picture is never out of focus because it sees the earth as an entity upon which all life depends and recognizes that the planet can survive without us, but we can't survive without it. We are part of nature. I also believe the scientific method is the only fair way to reach decisions. With science, you have a hypothesis, then it is tested, and only when the evidence supports the hypothesis does it become a fact or theory. It is also self-correcting. If new knowledge is discovered, it replaces the old without feeling right or wrong. It is constantly emergent. Today, decisions are more often reached by opinion or by special interest. Furthermore, once a decision is made, money is invested, and should that decision be found to be wrong, we, can of we often can't depart from that route because too much money is at stake, so we continue making that mistake. For example, look at our energy. Most people now recognize that fossil fuels are no longer the best source of energy. We have green technology, which could provide our needs without damaging our environment, and due to the renewable and sustainable nature of these energies, they could be virtually free. However, we have invested so much in the oil industry, these alternatives are slow to develop and fossil fuels aren't being phased out. In a resource-based economy, decisions would be arrived at. It is a systems approach, therefore taking out the biases and corruption we see today. Also, because no money is involved, a strategy can easily be abandoned if negative impacts are found along the way. An example of this is medicine. Today, pharmaceutical companies invest vast amounts of money to develop new drugs, but if the side effects are too harmful, they don't abandon the drug because it costs them too much to get this far, and it is well documented that they put the public at risk. From the American Medical Association's own statistics, 108,000 Americans die every year from a properly prescribed, properly administered medicines. Surely death is not a side effect. I'd like to close by saying that even if you don't agree with all the tenets of the Zeitgeist movement, the very least it does is wake up the citizens of spaceship Earth. In the words of the late Carl Sagan, our species needs and deserves a citizenry with minds wide awake and a basic understanding of how the world works. In the last two years, since I've become involved with the movement, I have learned more than in the previous 30 years since leaving university. It's been a fun ride, rekindling my eagerness to know about everything from nature to quantum physics, from money as debt to our media circus, and everything in between, because one is encouraged to research all the material presented. It has also provided me with hope for humanity, because I always felt there was a better way, but was frustrated that no one seemed to want it. Now, with the movement, I feel in touch with people who not only also care, but are actually doing something towards that better future for all the generations yet to come.